Good morning everyone and happy Monday and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today we're on weekly 68 and I'm in the college canteen because I was here like 15 minutes early so I decided to just hop on the vlog. Yesterday I didn't actually finish all to remember I DNF'd it at page like 90 because I was just like no, I didn't want to read it anymore. The protagonist was really fucking just shit but I'll talk about that more in my wrap up. So it's a brand new week so I started Odd One Out by Nick Stone. I'm on page like 24 and right now I don't like the main character again, like the main character is just a no um, because he fancies a girl that's a lesbian and he is convinced that it's going to work out and he can change her and it's just like no, everyone around him is saying like trying to convince him like no you can't change her, she likes girls and I swear to god if she just changes her mind because of him I might actually kill someone. If she's like realising that she isn't actually gay on her own accord, that's fine. But if she's like, oh, I'm not gay anymore because of you specifically, that's gonna like drive me insane. The plans for today are to come to college um, and then in my break, I'm gonna nip to um, Wilco's to get some revision cards, probably two packets of revision cards. Come back, write loads of revision. I actually forgot all my stuff to write revision cards with but um, never mind. And then I go home tonight and then me and Cam are going out for Valentine's Day on Tuesday because he's working when actual Valentine's Day is on um, Thursday. Um, so we're going out on Tuesday instead. This week is very calm, uh, second to last week of February. And then I think next week is relatively calm as well. And then March to me is a very hectic month. But welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is what I'm reading and I DNF'd what to remember because it sucked. <laughs> so I just went to Wilco's and I got a lot of revision cards. On my way back to college now, I'm so hungry. Like, I don't know why, but I'm gonna eat the lunch that Callum prepared for me this morning. Um, probably read some more and then get some work done because I've been slacking and I need to get on with it really. haven't spoken to you one-on-one -on -one since this morning. I got to page 102 of Odd One Out and I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not really enjoying it so far um, because I thought that all of the characters in the love triangle were going to be bisexual because someone was like, oh, it's a bisexual love triangle. But really, it's just like two girls who are liked by the same guy. Like, it feels like it's more of a fantasy right now. And like a I can make you straight kind of thing. I'm just not enjoying it. I'm so tired. I want to go to bed. My eyes are stinging. Like I was going to do some work because I have an EPQ deadline on Wednesday, as I've been saying for like two weeks now. And I still haven't done anything on it. A little, little bit today, but it really wasn't all that much. It was more to do with secondary research than writing my dissertation. I have everything but my dissertation done. So that's credited. And like, according to my plan, I'm not supposed to be done with my dissertation yet. So I'm on plan and everything. She's just expecting loads of things. And I'm like, I can't give them to you. So it is nine o'clock and I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to take my medication and I'm going to go to bed. I've got to do so much tomorrow. I'm gonna get up early because I need to edit my video. I need to do some work before I go to college tomorrow as um, I won't be at home tomorrow. Um, I'll be at Cam's and we're also going out for something to eat because he's working on Valentine's Day. I've already explained this, so I think. We're going to Wagamama's tomorrow because it's like our new favorite place. It's gonna be a very long day tomorrow and I need as much sleep as I can possibly get. So I'm thinking of going to sleep pretty soon and then getting up tomorrow. I'm gonna make a to-do list of everything I've got to do tomorrow and hopefully I will actually get some work done. I don't understand why I never do any work. I never feel like doing any work. Once I've started, I can't stop, but it's just starting it. I just feel like shit. <laughs> So I'm so tired. Hopefully I'll be a bit better tomorrow morning or whenever I wake up because I am so tired. Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. So it is currently 10 to 8. I actually woke up at 7 o'clock because I set my alarm for 7 so I could actually get up for 8 so I could do some work before I leave for college and stuff. So I'm up. I also need to make a doctor's appointment so I'm gonna get up in a minute but I thought I would say hello and good morning because I'm very proud of myself for actually waking up. After I make my um, doctor's appointment, I need to um, edit my video for tomorrow and schedule it, and then I'm going to get on and do some work. So I just found out that the surgery isn't open until 8.30, and they don't take calls until 8.30. 
So now I don't know what to do because I just messaged up my whole schedule. I'm going to edit for half an hour so I'm awake now anyway so I'm just going to edit for half an hour I think and then at 20 past I'll stop editing and I'll go ahead and ring because um why not <laughs> because I really need an appointment. my work done before I came out I then did all my makeup and I got dressed I'm just wearing over the shoulder number with a black bra don't really need to know that but there you go I also just went to the shop and got myself some dare really dunkers because I actually really fancied them I'm gonna eat these on the way to the bus then read on the bus then go to college and meet Callum so yeah at some point today I want to pick up some uh, makeup wipes as well because I haven't got any left well I do but they literally all of my packets have dried out so I'm gonna pick some of those up on my travels but I thought I'd just let you know that I got all my work done and I'm ready to go now we got a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts and we were only supposed to get three we also bought a bottle of wine at Wagamama's and I kind of got wine drunk still kind of am but you know <laughs> you saw Callum opening my gifts from him so I got in this bear and I also got him a card that is referenced to the IT crowd I thought I'd show you what he got me as well it's a little bit of a meme with us a joke about mini eggs i don't know why he got me two bags of mini eggs and this morning i was actually thinking i could barely use for mini eggs he got me a chocolate one which i almost got for him which was funny and he gave me something he was supposed to give me for my birthday i'm pretty sure it's this harry potter pen um it's got loads of the colors so i'm definitely going to be using this in film and then he got me this little puppy that says i labrador you which is funny because i got him the panda one from the same shop in the same range and I was gonna get this one, but then I was like, no, I changed my mind and I saw the panda and I thought of him just straight away and he got me the Labrador one. So now, Labrador and panda friends. Oh, I wanted to show you my wipes that I got today because they're awesome. I haven't done any reading tonight, which is kind of bad, but never mind. I thought I, I kind of expected it. I read until page like 120, I think, today. Um, but that's okay, I can make up for it tomorrow. I wanted to show you these wipes because I got them from Powerland today. Although they were a pound and from Powerland, they are Nivea and they're really really good literally i wiped them on my face and my makeup came straight off and i feel like with the other like wipes that i've had in the past i've had a proper like scrub um but these are the nivea daily essentials gentle cleansing wipes for face eyes and lips removes even waterproof makeup mild and gentle daily cleanse leaves skin soft and smooth it has left my skin soft and smooth but simple isn't a brand for me i always come out in spots which is why i'm dealing with all of these right now my skin has actually really cleared up since i stopped using the simple moisturizer but nivea has always been really good to me so i thought i'd share these wipes with you just in case you were looking for some they're like a pound in pound and they're actually really good i'm gonna wait for Cal to wake up from his nap and enjoy my celebratory vodka and coke perfect amount of vodka to coke ratio 
good times when your boyfriend's a bartender. Good afternoon everyone and happy Wednesday! I apologise if you can hear my bath running in the background, I am running a hot bath, we'll get onto that in a minute. I'm home from Callum's, I'm home from college, I'm home from everything, it's currently about 20 to 4. I wanted to just hop on here before I went in the bath, just to say hello, because I feel like I haven't spoken to you in ages. Oh great, I just picked that spot on camera and now it's going to bleed. Let's cut that out of the frame. Oh I can't! That's great. Anyway, so I thought I'd hop on and give you a little bit of reading update. I think I gave one yesterday, but there wasn't really much of one. Before I get into any of that, the reason why I'm having a hot bath is because I had a huge IBS flare-up yesterday, last night, this morning, technically, at like 1am. So I'm going to go ahead and get in the bath with loads of bubbles, and hopefully the warmth of the water will like calm my stomach. Because it's been really bad ever since, and I haven't been able to eat anything today, I think the only things I've had to eat today were some hash browns and a few mini eggs, which really ups my stomach. I didn't want to vlog this morning because of that, and I was just kind of focused on drinking my orange juice which is the only thing I can drink or eat while on like IBS cramps um so I decided to just focus on getting my health back together and now that I kind of have um, I'm going I decided to vlog again so on to my reading update I am on page 242 of Odd One Out by Nick Stone and this book is doing nothing but piss me off it's really fucking hard to explain why I hate this book so much without spoilers so I probably will have to write and film a spoiler filled review instead of a spoiler free review which is what I would normally vouch for but yeah, this is proper pissing me off because of certain reasons and it's very biphobic and I'm not sure what sexuality Nick Stone is. I think she said in an interview once that she's um, not straight, but her sexuality hasn't been confirmed. But it's just not right. There's loads of biphobia without it being questioned and there's just loads of shit that I don't appreciate. We're going to keep reading until the end because I literally don't have that much left. I have like 60 something pages and I also made up for the fact that I didn't read at all yesterday. I'm so sorry for the spot just going off in the background. Didn't read anything yesterday and I got a bit wine drunk yesterday and I think that's why my IBS is of making an appearance after a long time, like after a year, because I drank alcohol, I had noodles, I had loads of carbs yesterday, I had like two fucking Krispy Kreme donuts. I had a lot of crap basically in my, I don't think my body really appreciated that. With the stress of the A-levels and coursework and stuff like that as well. My body just was like, you know what, we're gonna fucking just shit everywhere. And I honestly thought I was gonna throw up and pass out. It was so bad yesterday and you can tell that I haven't had one for like a year because it was really bad. But enough of that, I decided to talk about that again for some reason. But I got some DVDs in the post today. These are all movies that we're studying but I needed the DVDs because they're not on Netflix or anything, they're not accessible. I got Pulp Fiction, I got City of God which I'll be watching tonight. Well you can't really curl up to this movie but never mind. I have a mock exam on that tomorrow so I'm going to make sure I watch it so I'm prepared. And I also got Vertigo by the one and only Alfred Hitchcock. So now I have all of the films as access to me apart from one of the documentaries and the silent film I believe because I literally can't find them anywhere and I'm pretty sure they're both on YouTube so that'll be fine. This clip has had no beginning, no end or no substance but hello I'm back. I had an IBS flare up yesterday. I've made up for the fact I didn't read yesterday and I bought three DVDs. This did not need to be such a long clip but it is. It's currently nine o'clock and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I haven't done any work tonight because my stomach has felt terrible. I was gonna watch City of God and actually I turn my Xbox on and everything to get it loaded up. I just never put it on. I don't know why. I've been in and out of sleep. I'm really unwell, my stomach doesn't feel so good, and I am admitting to myself that I may be a little bit stressed. So I've let myself have a day, um, I might pop City of God on because Callum is coming over I think, so I managed to get the day off apparently, so he's coming round. Um, I'm gonna clean my room up a little bit because it's a little bit messy. I might pop it on and watch it for like 20 minutes before he comes over, so, so I can get like a little bit in, but I'm not gonna be doing any work today because my stomach really hurts, I don't want to push it. So I'm going to go top up my orange juice and I'm going to clean my room. But first, I wanted to tell you that I'd finished Odd One Out by Nick Stone. I gave it a 3.5 stars on Goodreads and I'll link my Goodreads review down below if I remember. Sometimes I forget. In fact, all the time I forget. Probably shouldn't have gone into this not liking love triangles. But, you know, you live, you learn. You can't win them all. But next, I'm going to have to pick a book based on Valentine's Day because I've been going in a pattern kind of this month. I've been going a Black History Month read, a Valentine's Day read, and then something that I actually like not to do with them things that I want to read. So I've read Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race and then I read A Walk to Remember and then I read Deez. I might have to check if that's right because I swear I've read something in between the first two. But I decided to pick this up because of Black History Month. It also could be to do with um, love as well so I could pick either or for that one. But I think next I'm going to be reading Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han which is the conclusion to the To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy. And oh my god, I'm not ready. And then I can read something that's not either Black History Month related or Valentine's Day related and I can read something else. 
and I'm thinking of reading The Cruel Prince. So I'm gonna go ahead and put City of God on, my lovely Xbox, um, and wait for Callum to come, tag him in a little bit, but my stomach feels awful, so I'm not sure how much tiling I'm gonna be able to get done, but I'm sure he won't mind if he comes into an overly messy room. It won't be, I'll make the bed and such, but can't promise him that it's gonna be immaculate because I'm in pain. Callum is now here, and he's brought his Switch, and T is gonna play Mario Kart on the Switch for the very first time. It's and I wanted to document it. <laughs> what was that? What was what? Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I forgot which one was which. Oh. That's great. Oh my God, why am I in the, a hoverboard? What the fuck? In my ass. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, I'm going to see you. So it is currently like 1am on the day after Valentine's Day. I'm going to pretend that it's a Valentine's Day. So happy Thursday and happy Valentine's Day. Some montaging today. But to be honest with you, I just wanted to spend today with Callum because I don't think I'd be able to spend that much time with him today. We watched To All The Boys I've Loved Before. I'm just chilled in bed like normal people do. <laughs> I got all my work done today. I did an hour of everything. Um, technically, To All The Dead was revision. So I'm counting it as like an hour and a half because it's a film so yeah I got through that I'm aiming to watch all of the films three times because if you didn't know I study film at A level I managed to get to page 101 of Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Hart I don't like where this book is heading not in the fact that it's gonna be bad or anything just in the fact that it's gonna break my heart and I have a feeling I know exactly where it's going um but yeah reading this Maybe I want to watch the movie again and so I made Callum watch it today because it's all about love and Valentine's Day and I wanted to watch it again. I also managed to today get this weekly vlog edited. I had an hour of footage and I got it down to 16 minutes. Don't know how the fuck I managed it but I did. Um, so I won't be vlogging that much tomorrow I don't think or Saturday because I already have 16 minutes. I've got about 10 minutes left. I've got this clip and I've got stuff for tomorrow and Saturday so... I won't be vlogging them two days that much but I feel like I've vlogged a substantial amount this week. But yeah, I'm going to go to sleep and I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning everyone and happy Friday. It's currently half past eight, I've just got up out of bed. I've been up since like quarter to eight, I think, um, but I've only just woken up. But I've only just got up and gone upstairs. I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes, just sort myself out, get some food, get a cup of tea, and I'm gonna do some flashcards on actually a subject that I've got a test on today. <laughs> I've got to leave at about 12ish, so I'm gonna get ready about 11. So if I did an hour from quarter to nine, uh, that leads me to quarter to 10. And then if I do from quarter to 10, well about 10 to 11, I have an hour to get ready, get some food and then leave for college. So I'm happy with that progress this morning. And then when I get home, I'm going to watch, probably watch Trainspotting because it's the companion film to Shaun of the Dead, which I watched last night in our little study thing. Um, in our A-levels we have to study two films most likely, I think the only one we have to study one single one in is the silent film and Pulp Fiction at the end. So um, they're all like companion studies, so I'm going to watch Trainspotting I think tonight, um, preferably not at 12 o'clock in the morning because that wasn't a good idea, That was I stayed up way too late. So I'm now home from college and it's currently half past four, I've been home for about an hour. I decided to film a cheeky little video, I filmed my um february haul i haven't done a haul in a very long time so i thought i would start doing monthly ones as i'm reading more because i want to read 100 books so i'm reading more and i have to buy more so i thought i'd show you how many books that i've bought and the ones that are on my bed and now i'm gonna have to put them all away this is what i'm working with this is absolutely ridiculous now i'm gonna watch some uh contemporary -a -thon vlogs 
charge my phone back up and then film a rant review of odd one out because I'm in the mood to film videos and I don't know if I'm going to be able to be in the mood to film booktube videos on Sunday so I'm going to get as many as I can filmed right now see what I want to do and then see how much storage I have because all of my vlog footage is on the laptop so I'm going to let my phone charge for a bit put all these books away and watch some contemporary vlogs so I'll probably talk to you after I have done all of that bookmarks just finished it's currently about 12 o'clock in the morning and I'm just in bed, I'm about to actually go to sleep. I managed to get to page 190 of Always and Forever today. I'm gonna sit here and read past page 200, I think the next chapter ends at page 208, so I'll read that, go to sleep, and I just thought I would update you on stuff that I've done today. I went to college, I got all my work done, I watched train spotting. I'm just kinda chilling now, I watched Bookmarked, and I also got two videos edited and uploaded today that are scheduled for Tuesdays to come so I have next week's booktube video sorted and I have also the week after the booktube video sorted as well but I have a video to go up before then that hasn't been filmed yet but I thought I would upload other things just in case I also wanted to show you my new lamp which is just there I haven't got my big light on at all and we're just going with the light from the lamp and it is really bright in my room just with a lamp and I could film with this light, honestly, I really could, like a video. So these are what my bookshelves look like with just the lamp on, you know, great. And this is, this is what the rest of my room looks like with just the lamp on. Are you ready? It is so bright in here with all of this light. It's so bright. Just thought I'd say goodnight and update you on my progress and the fact that I just bought bookmarked and I shared loads of cool bookish covers in the group chat that I'm in that are fans of bookmarked. And now I want to make a video all about it, so I might go ahead and plan that. But I probably shouldn't, I probably just read this and then go to bed. Good afternoon everyone and happy Saturday. I'm joined by the pigeon. So I just got some lunch from Tesco. I had some pasta and some cheese and some chicken and bacon pasta. I also got myself a big bottle of smart water. Like, why are these birds flying everywhere? On the bus this morning, I managed to finish Always and Forever, Laura Jean by Jenny Han. So I was crying on the bus. Don't, don't judge me. I was crying on the bus. I was really trying hard not to, but then it all came out. So I've got The Cruel Prince in my bag by Holly Black, as I've read, I think I've read two of each now, technically. Um, so this is my last like free pick of the month. So I'm gonna read The Cruel Prince. I'm filming a uh, reading of The Cruel Prince for the first time vlog for my booktube channel. So I don't know if I'll like document a lot of my progress on here. But yeah, I'm gonna go find somewhere to sit. <laughs> Hopefully, I might go sit in Starbucks actually, get something to drink, depending on how much money I've got left. I was gonna go to Waterstones, but it's all the way up there and I've always got work. I've got work in, I think about half an hour, so I might go sit on the bench and read for half an hour. Um, but yeah, I've got work until 10 and I'm not looking forward to it. I just wish I could just sit in bed and read all day, but you know, I gotta get them coins, so I gotta go to work. Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. Obviously I don't vlog on Sundays but I forgot to end the vlog last night because it was really late when I got home and I was really tired. So I'm going to end it now because I don't vlog on Sundays because I'm doing video stuff apart from the fact that I'm not doing video stuff today. It's about 20 past 9 and I need to get this vlog uploaded because I'm going out and then I'm going to Cam straight afterwards so I need to like either render it and upload it if I can or get my memory stick and put the file on the memory stick, take said memory stick to Callum's, upload it there, which I think I'll do because it's definitely going to overheat. But I have plenty of time to get it edited and uploaded. I literally only have like a couple of clips because I didn't vlog that much from Thursday. Um, so I have about 40 minutes to get them imported into my editor and edited to re start rendering at 10 so it can be done by 11. I actually had an alright shift yesterday, it wasn't too bad. But I was still so tired and knackered afterwards, so... This week I managed to read Up and Out by Nick Stone, which I gave a 3 out of 5 stars to, 3.5 out of stars to. And I also managed to read Always and Forever, Lara Jean, which is downstairs in my bag. I did finish it yesterday, as I told you, I was almost crying on the bus. I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. Probably was generous, probably was more of a 4 stars. But because I was crying and I loved it so much, I decided to give it a 5 out of 5, because why not? But yeah, that was my week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed yours. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy my vlog and subscribe. I make videos every single Monday and Wednesday on the channel. I also have a booktube channel which I post on every Tuesday so the link below is for that. And I will see you this week for all of my videos. 
one, four, three. Bye!